What happens if there's an earthquake at this moment? Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival 2023. I'm Tanya June Moore. Wow, what a year. I want to say thank you to BMO Harris Bank, to Cleaner Quicker Car Wash, to the city of Sedona, to Yavapai College for this incredible space, and all of our sponsors and volunteers who have made this year really impeccable. Thank you. And I have two people in the seat that I know you're going to recognize and that I am fangirling over both of them. Judd Hirsch, Amy Smart, thank you for being here in Sedona and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to show up and share this incredible film with us. This is something we as an audience have deserved for a while. I haven't seen a movie about kids of this caliber since, oh my goodness, Sandlot? Mm. Because right? I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Not too many, right? When too I was many. a kid, there were an awful lot of them. Yeah, like Bad News Bears was one I grew up with, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. was, I go Not even when you were a kid, you're going even further back. <laughs> further than back. That. Yeah. So, what was it like creating such an all inclusive, and I hate to use this term, but I'm going to say it, woke film for this year? I mean, I love. I love this, this story. I love that it deals with so many different complex issues from a very grounded place, from losing a, losing a family member to having trauma to dealing with all that grief, with overcoming your fears, facing them, with um, you know really understanding how it takes a tribe to, to raise, to, to be a family, mm -hmm. to um, support each other, and, and the all the baseball and all the kids are just like gems. Just such great characters, so much heart. Lee brought so much heart to this yes. movie. And, um, it, and was incredibly this synerg guy is it was so incredibly cool. synergistic. <laughs> like there were yeah. so many things. Like the two of you and that hug at the kitchen sink. Dance. <laughs> I got all the feels, all yeah. the emotion from that. Yeah. I mean, it was perfectly awkward and beautiful. Was that yeah. a conscious choice or was that accidental? Well, kind of like, it was like, uh, we, we were kind of like asked to do it sort of immediately. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's no preparation. No. <clears throat> in fact, even the song was not prepared. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't, we really didn't know what music to be. We, wow. ju we, were, kicking, we were kicking around with it. Mm. But, um, so it was kind of improvish. It was very improvish. And uh, it was like, the test was how we were going to feel while we did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think either one of us knew that one, right? Mm -mm. There was a connection that wasn't shown in the movie yet, right? Yes. We knew our father and daughter. Right. We knew that the, the history of, uh, of, the, uh, of her husband dying. We knew all that beforehand. But there was no one away, away in the movie except for that moment that you could show what, what we truly were together. Yes. You know, uh, and how close. Right, I th I, and, that, and I'm, I'm so glad we thought it up because it needed it. Mm -hmm. It did need it. It needed it. I mean, for me... It didn't make me just a grandfather. It didn't make me just a father. It, it made me like uh, a reason for something, right? Yes. To be of this family. It was a turning point. <clears throat> yeah. It really they, was a huge turning point yeah. in the film. Like, I'm watching it up to then. I'm like, okay, this is what we're watching. I understand what we're, where we're heading. And then there was this beautiful, real moment between I think two real people too I think are you guys close now I no. talk. I mean, not really but no. we were in, we you were, were at the filming time. yeah no, no, we, yeah we were kind of like all getting to know each other as we were filming mm -hmm. and I didn't dislike her <laughs> uh, thank goodness no no we, we had we had we, tr we truly had fun and our, our eyes showed it mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was warm it was terribly warm no it was, I mean, it's just a heartfelt film, and it, it deals with a lot of, I mean, it just dealt with a lot of trauma and a lot of issues in a really um, new way. Like, we're talking about the loss of a spouse. Yeah. We're talking about a father being hard on his children. Yes. Because he wants them to be powerful. Which is a common thing. Which is a very common thing. And what an incredible actor that you got to have to play your son. Yes. Yeah, we wanted to kick him around a lot. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I spent a lot of time with this kid. Uh, 
and he's probably worn out with my talking to him. But <clears throat> I doubt that. One of the, I think one of the things that made, made me want to do it was that if you know you're going to be with kids at this age, mm -hmm. you're going to be surprised by what they're going to do because you don't know, mm -hmm. right? It's not just about their innocence. It's about them knowing not, not what they're going to do themselves. And if you go into sports, which is where we all started, the thing I loved about it was that he's a, that he's a baseball player, you mm -hmm. know, and I would ask him all the time, you really play, you really play, you got to play, you want to play after the movie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and he's into sports. And that's where I come from, yes. you know. And I was hoping that as much interest in my life when I was playing sports as part of the beginning of life and where it takes you, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think it took me here. Yeah. Uh, that's what I wanted him to know was, um, yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's important to go all the way with it. Well, and that's why, he, and that's what, that's what the movie's about, not quitting. Not quitting. It's already in your blood. <laughs> you don't quit that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think that this rings true for you as an actor. You are not a quitter. You have played and made yeah. ordinary individuals extraordinary. Thank you. And I think I speak for many people, not only the people here, but out there that are watching. We have seen you turn something very simple into something so memorable. Where does yeah. that come from? From crap. <laughs> you, you, you had to know my beginning. <laughs> it was, uh, I was determined as he was uh, to be uh, disappointed mm -hmm. in life, you know? Mm. I thought it was a heck, it was, it was a lot more about something else than, than what I was living through up until 13 years old. Right. Because it, it, it's not, it's like, it's like being born in a foreign country and not knowing really where you are, mm -hmm. right? We go back, my family goes back to, uh, the the it to Asia to to the, to the Middle East right mm -hmm. so when that comes forward in your life all of a sudden you realize it's always been there mm. it's kind of like this ancient force which says you're not that right you America isn't like that America has roots mm -hmm. and I think if America would wake up and find out what his roots are it wouldn't be so you know difficult for everybody to live together right, right? they all have roots. It's very nobody, much told nobody who was ever born here was here before. No, and from the beginning, wasteland here, folks, right? Mm -hmm. So you t you got to take where, from where you how you were formed, where you were coming from. So in a, in a way, I didn't accept the fact that that's what was dealt me. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it's a like yeah. Amy, is that something you can relate to? Um, I, uh, my kind of beginning, I was a ballerina for 10 years. And wow. so I <clears throat> I started liking performing on stage. Mm -hmm. And then I got into acting at 16 and I started taking classes. And my first teacher said, acting is a study of human behavior. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was like the world of fascination. And I love psychology and I love what makes people tick. And I love using my own personal life through characters and having cathartic experiences. Yeah, and you're a mom now. And I'm a mom, and so, wow, being a mom is like, makes me connect to a mom character so much deeper than I had before. Well, you could really see it in this. You, I saw a huge change in you in this movie. Oh, wow, thanks. I mean, I love everything you've done. It's been clever, it's been funny, but this is a movie that I think is gonna change where you're going. And you. it was just beautiful to see you really express a different side of who you are. And I think the two of you together, I think that was really helpful. What helped me was her last name was Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more to expect, right, folks? <laughs> you gotta live up to that, my girl. Uh, right? I, I mean... To, you're not to change that much. <laughs> right. No, but I'm, I mean, also for this film, you know, to work with Judd is like really a dream come true he's as we all know a legend <laughs> yes <laughs> an icon an icon uh, just all the greatness yeah. so uh, you know that wait, was a... wait till my next life <laughs> yeah. honey like, you're in the right place for that <laughs> we know you're coming back and i can't wait yeah. to see you you have Are a you job know? oh no no <laughs> i i can't let you you leave here without talking about your extraordinary nomination Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, what a beautiful role. And you got to have an accent. You were so good in and it. You were yeah. in it for, I mean, you yes. changed everything in the few minutes yeah. that you were in the Fablemans. And Agreed. Boy, where did that come from? The heavens. You know, like one day you think you're, uh, that the, uh, the, the weather is going to be great, and all of a sudden it rains, and, it, and in the rain you go, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And you find yourself in a totally different atmosphere than I, than I was for years, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, let's put it like this, 42 years <laughs> between nominations. I mean, very different person at that time, and very different uh, opportunity, let's put it this way. Okay, so here I was to speak for myself, for myself for... Mr. Spielberg. Yes. You know, it's like, how do you serve? Most of us don't do movies to serve any real big purpose, right? I mean, the purpose of the movie, uh, sometimes the, the purpose of the idea of, let's say, the writer or somebody who had uh, something bigger than you and you fit, you know. This was like to serve a man's life. And, 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 and so I felt very uh, responsible for reminding him in his youthful memory of a man that made a difference. And he's real. Mm -hmm. He's the only real name in the movie. Everybody else's name has changed. Mm -hmm. This is the only name that he kept as the real man. man. Now, did, okay. I have of to... which he knew very little about. But okay, I'm saying, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. It was almost like, it was almost like the request <clears throat> when you when you when you're going to do movies, you wonder what they what they uh, uh, you know what, what one wants you to be in it for. What what are they looking for? About what part of you or whatever? Well, he was he was looking for something in me to 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 match what happened to him, even though he didn't know what happened to him. Mm. It was oh. a big surprise that the man ever existed, and that he and he came from so far away and, and from such a crazy place, the, the circus of all places, but. If you get to know Stephen, you know that he already has um, a kind of a, uh, a past shunt on him because he's Jewish mm -hmm. and because that's where he came from. That, that's truly where he, where he comes from. And there's, it's not like he celebrates it. It's like there's no denial. And that's why he makes a movie like Munich. That's why he makes movies like, you know, like the, uh, the ones that he's, and everything he's done for that, for that purpose. Mm -hmm. It's something that is stuck in the heart can't get, you cannot deny it, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so when he's going to do the story about himself, it's not just about that he had to tell his own story. I think he had to tell something like what made him feel and do what he did. And it wasn't just his choice. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So he has a history. And I was supposed to supply a piece of that history uh, to him as a reminder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what happened. Yes, yes, it was a yes, an ancient part of my family, coming forward mm. and bringing everything into the present tense for a moment. It's almost like, um, like an oracle comes down and and I'm meets used. you for a moment and, and says, "You don't know me very well, but let me tell you something. I'm I'm related. And I got some news for you. Here's who you are." And then, mm. can you imagine? I mean, who who doesn't want to play that part? <laughs> you know? Well, exactly. Yeah. And you For embodied him. that. Well, you embodied that. And did, Absolutely. I had you, to. You had to. Yeah. yeah. Were you pulling problem. on those Coney Island days? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I had to reach back to something which was like uh, a, a similar to me, you know. Yeah. As I said before, we are all not American. Mm. We are all from someplace else, and it's and and the great part about it is. Everything that's sort of worthwhile, everything that makes us feel the worthwhileness of uh, our life, really doesn't come from now. It comes from quite a while ago, a time when we weren't even born. Mm. You know, when I woke up and saw my mother, and, to and, and later when we were only alone, and realized that we were the only, my, my brother and my mother, I started to, to wonder, you know, how she made me, where, what? What, did I, what else did I come from? What? What did you come from? And uh, it was almost like a study of my life. Because my mother never talked, talked about it. Mm. She was very careful. So, mm. You know, it's like, it's like hiding from, because it had to come from someplace else, right? Right. Well, it was uh, a different time. Yeah. But there was great appreciation. Stephen has that great appreciation for that. That's why he does those movies. Yes. You know. And to talk about rallying caps again. I think a lot of that became very apparent in this. Maybe not so much as the heritage from 
somewhere else, but generational healing, generational yeah. trauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, physical trauma and, and yeah. being able to get back out there and, and, and be powerful again. Yeah. Where do you want to go from here? What's your next project? Do you have anything in the works that we can brag about? Uh, I did this film called Blunt this summer. Um, and it's a really interesting sort of thriller uh, that's mind bending mm. and um, coming out, I don't know, probably in the summer. Okay. And um, and then I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I have. I'm doing. A, it looks like I'm doing a Christmas comedy next <laughs> month, but we haven't figured it all out yet. <laughs> It'll but, get there. It'll get there. You know, that's in the works. Um, and then a couple other things that I'm um, helping create and produce. Wonderful. That are in the works. Yeah. And what's in your future? I was going to. There's, there's anything for an 87 year old actor, but okay. <laughs> It doesn't have to be something, you know what I mean? Could we get him a little something? I don't ask, know, right? a, a yeah. little mini part, like a, a maybe he could be a narrator or something. I don't know. Well, no. In, in, in April there will be a movie coming out called Showing Up. Uh, Kelly Reichardt's other another movie by Kelly Reichardt, in which Michelle Williams, who plays my mm. daughter in that one, and then she played my great niece in, in this oh, wow. one. Yeah, immediately. The two movies followed each other immediately. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so and we were actually talking about this one, the, about the Fable Miz, while we were doing the other one because we knew we were, we were going to go and do it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, how, in a way, well, how are they going to accept this? They just saw me as your dad. So, so I, I kept thinking, well, I'll grow a lot of hair. Hmm. No, hmm. I'll have an accent. Hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're doing all the things to yeah, be just yeah, a little yeah. differential. <laughs> I, I didn't want Steven to say, no, we can't have you, because you played those two parts. But it actually changed his mind. It was wonderful, because it got me a chance to play with Michelle again. I don't know about you blonde people. You got this I was getting ready to say, you, you have a whole blonde here. thing going on I, here. I, I, I got to do <laughs> My next part's going to be with a blonde woman and kid. I, and it is. Yeah, You've I know, I know. You've already manifested that. I know, I know, yeah. Okay, now manifest something else. What? What else do you want? Want? Yeah. What do oh, you? Oh heck, so much. Mm. Tell the world so we can make that happen for you. Uh, uh, when you get to where I am, um, you start to think about the next, the, uh, uh, something important that that you would like to represent because it's a challenge to to play. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing that's not a challenge to play. I just mm. don't think that that's worth it anymore. Right? But something that forces me to be in something that maybe even I don't understand yet. You know, that's, that, that, that's the great trip for actors, I think. You know, all of a sudden getting to play something that you pretty much uh, really have to go and, 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 and you know, uh, really get into as, parts, as something that, you're, that either you're not or that you thought of a long time ago, you know. You're Sometimes I get own. to play something that I thought of a long time ago. Nobody knows it, right? I bring it with me. Like this one, but no, it would be um, I don't know the next best movie from um, Indochina. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody write a script. Do it now. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's get it out there. Yeah. It would right? be, yeah. And there's going to be a time, Amy, that you're going to be a legend. Ah. And that's going to be really beautiful. So I can't wait to have you oh, back over you. and over you're and so over sweet. again. Thank you. I could keep you here all day because you're both wonderful and fascinating and we are honored. Um, <laughs> the, mo the, mo the movie is, uh, it'll show it. It's going to be here yeah, it'll show at the Sedona. It'll Performing kind of show Arts the reasons Center. that we're in it. Yes. You know what I mean? So 4 p.m. today at the Sedona Performing Arts Center, you're going to get to see a really fun incredibly inclusive film with it, all kinds of subjects being addressed and normalized and then you're going to get a great q a with these two and uh carson yeah. and uh the filmmakers watch this kid this i'm telling you he's uh, he's, he's got uh he's, this is not just present tense for him it's a little bit more of a future that you're going to see I agree. Right? I agree you with you. You can see the marbles rolling around on this kid's head, right? <laughs> yeah. I just don't play baseball, but... I also play soccer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe you can come back and be his granddad in a soccer movie, right? Maybe. Yeah. 
We can well, someone who well. plays soccer also. <clears throat> I think what's so great about being an actor and, gr and getting older is that you have the opportunity to play different roles at different ages. Well, yeah. and, and, you know. and to empower people with those roles. I mean, I guarantee you that there is a scene of each of you that lives in other people's heads rent free and empowers and inspires them. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, ah! oh, 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 oh. Yay! Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you don't recognize them? We, 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 are, uh, we, we look alike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just alike. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I, remember, I love I it. We have all three of you here. Yes. And I think this is the audience to really get this movie up and running and off the ground. And I love that we've had both of these filmmakers here at the Sedona International yeah. Film Festival before. And I appreciate all of you taking time out and being here yeah. and enjoying this with all of us. So thank yeah, you. Because we got to get back to do with other things, you know. I know, you're yeah. busy. you yeah. got work to do. There's yeah. no time for retirement. He's got an entire future. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a wish for something else. And, and she's got to go on and on and, and on, on and on. And on. Shoes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And on, and on. This is how it all begins, right? Uh, or at least in the middle of. Thank you so much. If there's kay. anything else that you want to add or say, please, this is the time. Uh, 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 I was going to ask him something, but, uh, you know, um, remember my badgering you when I first got into it? I said, do you really play? Do you really play? Do you really play? Yes. Right. And I, I, I kept on thinking, you're going to prove it to me. You're going to prove it to me. Right. I, I, kept, I kept wanting you to know that I play, I play, I play. I'm <laughs> old, but I play, I play. <laughs> so when he was on, uh, I would go off and throw balls with the kids to prove that I could still do it, <laughs> to make me feel like he was. Yes. Right? Yes. You're 14? No. 11. Oh, oh well, then you, I'm not going to tell you the rest of it. <laughs> 11. Three years more? I'm going to talk three years more? I was 14. That's, that's right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. When I thought I was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good, I can yeah, say. I know. I, 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 I'm pretty good. I know, but that's the important part. I'm telling you, acting does depend on how you feel when you're a kid and what that thing is that makes you express yourself. Mm -hmm. When you, because you, 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 you get to know how good you are in something. It doesn't make any difference if it's in acting or writing or anything like that. It has to do with something much more basic and that's sports mm -hmm. and arts, some kind of, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you gotta please yourself. You gotta really please yourself. And thankfully, there's a, a a big push to keep arts in schools these days. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. We got a few we, governors to go through. Yes, we do. <laughs> I agree. All right, everyone. Once again, right. we are the place, Sedona International Film Festival. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Please share out the content. Our hashtags this year are SIFF23 and Sedona Film Fest23. Thanks to our sponsors. Thank you for being here. And I will see you once again with another filmmaker, uh, I think, tomorrow. See you then. So, listen. Woo, uh, awesome. Uh, Thank I, you. I, 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 I,